Okay, we tighten the head bolts to 40. What we're going to do is reset reset our Pittsburgh Pro torque wrench up to 60 pounds. And get these at Harbor Freight for under 40 bucks. And according to one of the latest magazines, these are just as accurate as a snap-on wrench. So now we're going to go through and we're going to torque the head bolts on this 2000 3.1 Lumina up to 60 pounds. Perfect. Okay, so while he's doing that, I'm going to show you what I did. According to the directions, as seen on the GM website, you tighten the bolts to 60 newton meters or 44 foot pounds. And we've got our torque wrench set to newton meters. And then it talks about using an angle meter, torque angle meter, to torque the cylinder bolts an additional 90 to 5 degrees. Well, I don't have that tool, so I made my own. I got on the internet and downloaded a protractor and taped it to a cereal box piece of cardboard. And I cut out a hole for the torque wrench, and I've got my 95 degree mark lined up so that I can line it right up with my breaker bar. Let's see how he's doing over here. He's doing a great job. He doesn't doesn't even have to worry about a click. You can tell when you're getting close because of the uh, beep starting to go beep, 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 a little faster, faster. As long as you keep a steady torque on it. If you start releasing the torque a little bit, the beeps will uh, stop. And you can't tell what if it's a steady beep or not. What you can do is take the wrench off, and it will tell you the last torque the wrench has been at. So you take a look at the face of the meter, and you can tell if you've made it up to your torque level or not. Okay, show me the wrench, Jay. See? 60.4 newton meters. Finish up the last couple, and then I'll show you the protractor tool, and we'll get on with this job. Head gaskets and intake gaskets on a 3.1 liter V6 is just about identical, well, virtually indistinguishable from the dreaded 3.4. In the uh, late 90s, early 2000s, Lots of these engines were made, and they all have the same bad intake gasket issue. And the problem is that usually it needs head gaskets too. Everybody knows about the intake gaskets, but uh, if you don't do the head gaskets at the same time, you're probably going to be right back in here real soon. So we're doing the head gaskets now. Um, once you have the intake gaskets off, the head gaskets aren't that much harder to do. It does require taking the rockers off where you can get a tool to uh, release the, the, the push rods if you're just doing the intake gaskets. But in order to do the heads, you have to remove the rockers in order to get at the head bolts. So they got to come off anyway. I bought the tool, but we're not even going to use it for this job. It's still in the wrapper. 
Okay, you want to do uh, the 95 degree on your first bolt here? Okay, so according to our diagram, right there is bolt one, right there is bolt one. Jay's going to put his wrench on there. Let's start over further. And then we're going to take our protractor, I'll put it right on there, and we're going to line up the first line. I'm going to hold that in place. He cranks it right on over to 95. And this is the torque to yield part, which means you can never reuse your head bolts. <sighs> Perfect. And that's how you do it. Good luck on your job.